Welcome to the iceberg. This is actually my first iceberg video, so please comment on how I did below. As you can see, I have made this iceberg myself because I haven't searched for a pre made one online. Credit to myself. It is quite small as I couldn't find so much things to cover for the game. It's kind of an obscure game, actually. It's not one of the most popular games on Roblox, but it does have a big player base. It's almost got, I think it's got a billion visits now pretty sure it does anyways anyway let's start please consider subscribing to the channel and drop a like below new players new players are unexperienced players who join the game and are bullied for their lack of experience in the game they often have poorly made morphs aka the all-white default cat when you join the game or the traditional Luna more on Luna's later they join the game and run around like they are some six to eight year old playing most of them do not chat at all, and when expecting the avatar, they might have a bacon avatar, hinting to them being a younger kid. Young players, under 13, are often shown all ages content when on Roblox. As I did, I researched myself with an alt account. Why did, why did I say? Oh my god. Bloopers! I did research with an alt account. I created this alt account that was 8 years old. As soon as I searched up cat game, I saw the game. It was fourth, fourth on the list of, of games that you could see. It was right there. A little kid could obviously want to play that because it was it's an attractive thumbnail. It had a cute little kitty on the front page. I have not done actual research with young kids. I, I just I don't have any young kids to research on. But if you have a younger child, please think about doing this I don't know it's for research I'm not trying to collect your data or anything it's just something you could try but the top searches that I found when on the alt account when searching for animal related games is animal games cat games or even cat games for kids would show the cat warrior cats ultimate edition I did research with an alt account I created this alt account that was eight years old as soon as I searched up cat game, I saw the game. It was fourth, fourth on the list of, but the top searches that I found when on the alt account when searching for animal related games is animal games, cat games, or even cat games for kids would show the cat warrior cats ultimate edition after some time of scrolling. The order that it showed is, Cat Games was the top first one. It showed it fourth place. The second was Animal Games. It showed it in second. 
It was after a little bit of scrolling. And at Cat Games for Kids, it took the longest to find it, but it was there. It was kind of weird to find it. A roleplay game where you use text-based communication as ad for something advertised for young kids. Also, new players are tend to steal roles from people. The most common roles used by new players is queen, leader, deputy, medicine apprentice, and medicine cat. They are and kit definitely kit. They are often stolen because they have no idea what the role means. That was my cat. Asher. Asher! Asher! Wake up! He's twitching his ear. Asher! Hello. You yeah, meowing in my video? Quiet, man. I know you're getting a little antsy there. Yeah, that was my cat. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, anyways. They tend to steal roles, and it is very annoying. Often, you can tell that they're a young kid because they don't change the roles, and they don't even respond to when people tell you to stop. That is something a younger kid would do, as they cannot read, they cannot type, and they only know how to control their character. The most common items that new players hold are flowers and prey, and that is all the items you can hold. Why did I think about that? You, there's not very many items in the game, other than the cat, the mouse toy, and the two-way plays, but... Yeah, they do that. They do that a lot. Anyways, next topic. Starpedia. The Starpedia is a tool, or it's more like a guidebook for new players. Pretty much anyone uses it, but... I don't know very many people who use it. I've used it when I was a new player three years ago. Basically, rumors that people like use it to cheat in the herb medicine cat auditions when you're being a medicine cat or apprentice. Locations. There are many locations in the game, such as Thunderpath, Star Clan. That's not a location. I just said that for some stupid reason. Ignore that. The Moonstone, Stunning Rocks, Shadow Clan, Thunder Clan, River Clan, and Wind Clan. There is also the Barn. Two Lake Place and Four Trees. Those are the most common roleplay locations in the game. Lore. This game does have lore to it, actually. It is made by Pav Pavlinox. I don't know how to pronounce his username, but he is one of the lead developers of the game. He's the creator of it, actually. I don't know any people of the game, but I just know him. I remember being on like one of the things or something or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to share or not, but probably not. I probably shouldn't be talking about it because I could get in trouble or something. I don't know. Anyways, check out the Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition Discord as well. It's pretty good there. They got suggestions and stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of lore to the series. If you're a new player, I recommend you read the books. It'll help you. Just trust me. You'll get smarter in the game and you'll know what to do before you join. You'll know what happens, you'll know the locations, you'll know the roles, you'll know what to do and when to do it, and you won't get made fun of. And that is a mistake I made. I did not read the books before I played. Also, don't ask people what's my name or where I need a mom or whatever in the game, because that is what the new players do. They go around asking people for to be their mom or what their name is or something like that. I was very, very annoyed. I got called Ugly Kid. That was some no one someone asked actually tried to name me Ugly Kid. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyways. Spectators and traders. Spectators and traders are often people who cannot figure out what they want to do as a roleplay. So they are just people who join who are bored. They just watch other people roleplay and they just sit there and take up the clan space. Traders are way different from spectators. They are people who are looking for game passes. They want to be gifted. That is a new thing that came in the game like a, couple, like a month ago. I don't know when it was a thing. But it has gone extremely popular. 
people are now always trying to get gifted by people. No matter what. Sometimes you could even get scammed, I think. But it's got you can get scammed. Just be aware. There are scammers out there. They will scam you of your game passes. Spectators and traders are known to take up entire clans, disrupt roleplay, and they just sit there and wait for people to claim them or train, trade with them or whatever. And sometimes there are these morph wheels which are literally riddled with players. There is a freaking line of players. It's going the entire way of the clan. It's everywhere. It is very disrupting the roleplay. And most of the clans are often now just called spec clans or trader clans. And sometimes people even think the game is just a freaking law because people don't roleplay very often in the game as much as they used to. Lunas. As I mentioned new players earlier, you probably know what a Luna is. And if you don't know what a Luna is, they are unexperienced players, probably like a 10 year old or something who has never heard of the game or the books. And they basically think it's just some like game like Wildcraft or Animal Craft or it's not Animal Craft, no, Wildcraft. They probably just think it's some animal game where you do whatever you want. And it's not, it's a roleplay game with complex complex lore and roles and stuff and it takes a long time to get into. It took me three years to get into it. But I eventually caught on. Anyways. The most common stereotype for Luna is they sprout wings, they become queen of the forest, and yeah, not all Lunas are like that, this is people have adapted it and it's became a meme, but yeah, you could be, you could be nice to be players. They often have a black, a black and white tuxedo cat morph, it's really bad, I've seen it. New players are known to put little effort into their morphs because they want to spend more time exploring the game rather than creating a really good morph. They often include the pride flag stuff. Probably a little kid that doesn't know what pride is, and they think it's just a rainbow collar that looks cute or whatever. And it's not pride. Or whatever, I don't know. Um, yeah. Layer 2. The Shallows. Oh yeah, by the way, Layer 1 was tip of the iceberg. I forgot to say that. Game Passes. Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition has a lot of Game Passes. So many that I can't even count them. They are kind of expensive, and they cost about 400 Robux on average. Sometimes they cost less than that. I think the one that I've bought for Large Warrior was actually 750 Robux. I've spent a lot of Robux on the Game Passes. I don't have them all, but at one point I did have them all. But they keep adding more, so then... Yeah, I don't have any of the event ones because I never participated in the events. I didn't participate in the beta because I didn't even know the game existed. I didn't get into the game until I was a little bit older than the average kid who gets into the Warrior Cats, which is in, I think it's in sixth grade, maybe middle school. I don't know. I didn't get into this until a while later. I was kind of late in starting. Anyways. Warrior Cats Lake Territories, second game. As you know, there's been, like, a trailer on the internet for the next Warrior Cats game. It's gonna be a lot fancier, it's gonna be better graphics, new models, that stuff. And the Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition is just gonna be Legacy now. I'm really excited to play the next one, so I better get started reading the books of the Lake Territories. And that is all, I think. Yeah, we'll have to wait till we get more updates on it. I'm really excited. I've been tuning in all the time to see if there's an update. Anyways, let's continue. Remodels. Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. The Discord, anyways. There have been rumors on YouTube even about remodels coming to the legacy version of the game. Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. The regular one that we have right now. Anyways, but yeah. Pav said it, or their devs said it too early, and something happened, and there's been rumors spreading, and then I think the person who's working on it, I think her name's, their name's Tigress, they said they aren't coming, or people, the people who worked on the Warrior Cats team said they aren't coming to the game. That made so many people upset. They told them too early, but that's none of my concern, because now we are, we are definitely getting our models in the next game. 
Warrior Cats Discord. As you know, the Warrior Cats Discord is a good place to be if you're a new player and you need some help. There are channels, there's suggestions where you can have a suggestion of what you like or whatever. There are channels for art, Warrior Cats art, just general chat. There's an announcements page for when they have mod applications and stuff. And that's all I have to say for that. We are now entering the deep waters of the iceberg. It is getting very deep. And I have caution. If you are a young kid who is watching this video right now, click away. Because I am about to talk about adult stuff. Just get off the video if you are under 13. Or if you don't understand what heat is, just, just click away, please, just click off of this video. It is horrible what is going on YouTube right now. Even just searching up Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition will be bombarded with this inappropriate content that's not meant for kids. It is 18 plus. Okay, Warrior Cats Heat roleplay videos, or er, roleplays, there are people they are very disgusting i have been victims of it before it's horrible it's just horrible and there was also this one person i'm pretty sure they're like born in 87 i read on their username it's kind of traumatizing they were able to bypass roblox censoring and type very nsw stuff in chat very very nsw very descriptive and I almost vomited my friend that I was playing with they were pretty upset too we didn't were able to report them because they left before the mod could get there and that is one of the bad people who play the game there are also trolls who bombard the messages they're probably just getting revenge if they're like just some player who didn't like the game before and then they probably just made it all and then did that or something. There was a person who spammed Warrior Cats as bad in chat. It was just filling the chat with it. Really um, also, if you're a troll and you're trolling as a Luna, just don't do it. It's not nice. And we won't know if you're a Luna or an experienced player. Just, just be nice to them. They're new players. How are we going to get experienced players if we keep shoving the new ones out? We all started as exp unexperienced people. It doesn't make any sense. We're raising the next generation wrong. we got to give them a chance. They'll eventually get as experienced as we are. we just got to give them time. Anyways, back to the iceberg. Warrior Cats Heat videos are cats in heat. Yes, it's disgusting. I wish it never existed. It's horrible. Never, ever, ever watch it. It's advertised. It says 12 plus, 13 plus, sometimes even 10 plus. These people are just don't do it. It's not kid appropriate. It's adult stuff. I am in, in high school, and this stuff is not for kids. If you see someone posting this online, report the video. Just take it down. What well, YouTube has done nothing about this stuff, and it's all over the place. It's like wildfire. It's everywhere. It is not good. Sometimes you can even find heaters. They're called heaters. Um, they can find them in role plays in public servers where there are young children. I hope the devs get onto this soon. Or YouTube. YouTube just needs to come at these things. Take them down. Just get rid of them. It's horrible. It's ruining the young kids. It's ruining the community. It's everywhere. I don't even know if I can be a YouTube creator because it's all over the place. But if it gets worse, I might have to stop making Warrior Cats videos. Because if it gets worse, then it's not even going to be safe to search up Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition on YouTube because it's everywhere. There are ones with even kits involved. Kits. Kits X Warrior. Apprentice X Warrior. What the heck? This is not okay. This is just crazy. Anyways. Toxicity in the game. As you know, the game can be toxic because there are mean players on it. And 
they're just bullying new players. I had to sneeze, that's why I paused the recording. <laughs> yeah, it was a big one. Anyway, um, there's a lot of toxic people in the game. <sighs> oh. oh, man, I stopped stupid freaking allergies. Anyway, there's a lot of toxic players out there. They bully the new players, they try to shove them out, they are really mean, they bully. A lot of them bully furries. I don't think they bully furries. I've been a furry online and I've been bullied. Yes, I'm a furry. I'm not a bad one though. I'm a good furry. I'm a, I'm a very good furry. I don't do the bad things that people say that furries do. All those things that you think furries do are false. Most of them are actually good people and they would never do those things. I personally would never do those things either that people say about furries. I'm a very good person. And furries, they don't think they're animals. We're just people who like to draw and we're just dressing up as our animal online. So don't hate us. Let's go off topic really fast. Anyway, toxicity in the game. Yeah, it's it's toxic. Every game is toxic. It's just how it is. People are gonna be mean. If people are mean, block them or report them. There's nothing you can do. You can't control them, but you can stop it. You can bully. But that's not a good that's not a good thing to do. You can block or report them. There are things you can do to stop bullying. Just be aware that you cannot control the person who's bullying you. You have to respond by either ignoring them or bully them with kindness. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for my other iceberg that is going to come maybe next week. I'm kind of grounded right now or something. I don't know. See ya. Bye-bye.